Hey, what's up? This is Mikey for Electrek, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Spectre ST from Unero. The Spectre ST is an amazing dual suspension, dual battery, 1000 watt electric mountain bike that happens to be a step through frame. Unero continues to impress with their bike lineup, and this one is no exception. The step through frame mountain bike might share the same name as the Spectre S, but it's an upgrade from that model, at least in my opinion. Let's go ahead and take a look. At the heart of the Spectre ST is the step through frame that accommodates both two batteries and a dual suspension. These frames have their base manufacturing done in a high class facility, and it really shows. The rear suspension houses a damper underneath the seat post tube, making for an integrated and sleek look for the frame, and also the control arm even hides inside for the footprint as well. The suspension looks amazing. On the trails, it feels like a pogo stick, but that's kind of part of the fun. Another great feature is the integral battery pack, which comes stock with a 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery. I would guess this would get about 25 miles of range at 20 miles an hour. From there, you've got room to grow, since Unero has a 17 amp hour upgrade available and a slot for a second battery, which is more or less plug and play. With two battery upgrades, I think that at full blast, this thing could do 60 miles. Already, just from talking over the rear suspension and the battery, this bike is impressive, but the rest of the bike has some surprises too. The elephant in the room is the 1000 watt torque sensing mid-drive motor, which can blast through almost any hill and it easily hauled myself at full throttle 30 miles an hour. With this kind of power at your fingertips, it's hard to see the world as you did before. I'm pretty sure that flat earth believers have a bike like this because hills simply don't matter anymore. Another thing I really like about the Spectre ST are actually the tires. These are not the typical fat tires that we see so often, including on the Spectre S. No, these are actually three inch wide tires, which are my personal favorite size for mountain biking and also cruising of wide varieties. They have a great deal of control without being too unwieldy. The air volume is plenty big and the grip and the tread leaves nothing out. To me, this is actually an upgrade for the lineup. The Spectre ST includes both air suspension in the rear and also a 140 millimeter air suspension front fork. This is a great match for the bike, giving the rider a lot of control on the trails. The cassette in the back is an 11 to 42 tooth set and that 42 tooth ring combined with the 1000 watt motor it could probably climb a telephone pole if you could find the balance for it. Other components on the mechanical side aren't really breaking a whole lot of new ground. The seat post is strangely short, the saddle is kind of ho-hum, and the brakes are good for pretty much any street riding. However, if you plan on riding down a really steep off-road hill, especially if you're carrying two batteries, I would really recommend upgrading the brakes. Really, other than the brakes being lackluster for heavy downhill, this is an amazing top-of-the-line internet order mountain bike. A store-bought masterpiece with this kind of equipment would easily cost eight to 10,000 bucks. But for the Spectre ST, it starts at $3,799. If you scale up with the upgraded batteries, the second battery, accessories, extended warranty, then the price will cap at $5,289. That's some serious savings for a serious bike. So there's my two cents on it, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm Mikey for Electrek, and I will see you on the later.